What's up everybody, what's up Aaronators and welcome back to my channel where we react to music but always always do it honestly. I'm so glad to see each and every one of you guys and today we're gonna be checking out the live version of V's Stigma. I just reviewed the studio version of that song and it was so amazing guys. I loved it. His voice is amazing. He knows how to control it super well. But hey, on this channel you can't sing until you prove that in a live setting just like like this case so we're gonna jump right into it I'm really really excited but before we do that of course make sure you check me out on Instagram Twitter and patreon So just a quick interruption before we continue, I, I wanted to make this comment. I really love how they begin the song with pretty much just the piano. It really creates this nice minimalistic mood and it kind of mentally prepares you to just be focused on the voice, on V singing. I'm pretty sure he's gonna come in in, in just a second. Uh, uh. What the hell guys, he sounds exactly like the recording, there, there was no flat notes, no sharp notes, no uh, pretty much no inconsistencies whatsoever it sounded so good so like his pitch was pretty much perfect the whole time even considering the fact that he was transitioning from one part of his voice to another doing that very smoothly and seamlessly amazing vocal control and let's check out this thing here i'm i'm not sure what it is exactly and what it represents maybe a window or something okay spread your wings uh, your oldest fear is the worst one. Lust for life. Today will be an awfully big... Guys. Oh my... Oh my god. I just... I just realized something. I... F Jesus. I forgot to check out the lyrics for the song in my previous reaction. Holy crap. What the hell? I, I do it the second time. First, I, I did it with Jungkook's Euphoria. I forgot to go back and listen to the lyrics and I wanted to know the meaning of both of them. Oh, wh what? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish up this reaction and then go and check out the lyrics and record my reaction on like little analysis to the lyrics and add that to that video, that reaction. Uh, it's a good thing I'm recording these two videos on the same day so I can do such thing. It, technically, I don't even need to insert this bit, me, me talking about this whole thing, me uh, realizing that I've messed up, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert it anyways. So it's like Aaron from the future reaction changing something in the reaction that was in the past. Uh, <laughs> Some back to the future crap over here. Okay, but anyways, youth, youth, vivir, vivir, mind, uh, the wings. I, I'm not sure what it all means, to be honest. You you guys can let me know in the comments, okay? I, I'm pretty sure you know. <laughs> It's crazy how good he makes this live version sound. It's it's almost like I like this one better than the original recording. And I know why it might be the case. Uh, in a live setting, usually there's more emphasis on the vocals. Like you can hear the vocals a little more clearly. There's less vocal effects and processing on them. But of course, you know, I like listening to studio recordings as well because 
and then um, the everything is perfect everything is on pitch all the time uh, the balance between the backing track and the vocals is perfect as well and as I mentioned before usually I like to listen to studio recordings first and then the live versions because in a live version the artist may change a few things or sing in a different key so you want to have that reference and hey guys do you like that that suit that jacket that he's wearing with these little uh, what are they called ornaments um I, I i forgot the name for these like fake stones and i'm i'm sort of wearing a black as well i'm sort of i i sort of have the same kind of little things going on <laughs> on the shirt but definitely guys when i go shopping for clothes next time i'm gonna look for something like that for something flashy to just you know record reactions in it i mean i like flashy clothes in general i would wear them somewhere to to an occasion you know maybe to uh like to a friend's birthday or something like that. Obviously when I go grocery shopping, I don't dress up. I, I just wear sweatpants and a simple t-shirt. Yo, guys, look at that. Look at that. I didn't realize it was such a huge stage and there were so many people. Wow. And like the, the way the lights just flash through the audience and I think they're, what are they called? These, uh, what are they called? Army bombs? I, I don't remember, guys. Correct me, please, if I'm wrong. Uh, these lights, they might be wirelessly controlled and whenever so they decided to make it so when the the lights flash through the audience they make the lights brighter the the lights that the audience have maybe maybe it's just reflection though i don't know but yeah it, it looked really awesome to me i don't know why i'm focusing on it so much but like yeah i i think it's worth pointing out and i still can't get over the fact that he goes up and down the pitch all the time like Either it's it's pretty high or on the contrary pretty low, but he stays very very consistent. No flat notes whatsoever. Everything is on point. That's incredible. <laughs> You know, one thing that we can notice over here is that he's holding the microphone very, very closely to his mouth, but the sound is, not, well, the mic is not clipping and the sound is not very loud and powerful. So it just shows that despite going for high notes, he can control his voice very well and make it sound very soft and gentle. And I'm actually kind of surprised by the fact that he's got just a simple microphone stand over here and not some uh, decorated, I, I, I don't even know what. But actually now when I'm thinking about it, the whole stage setup is not too flashy. It's minimalistic just like the song, you know? So uh, <laughs> yeah, actually it does make sense that it's, it's a simple microphone stand. <laughs> Look at him. Dang, the the way he's staring right into the camera in this shot. Uh, I, I can't tell what color his eyes are. Let me know guys in the comments. But man, like it, you know, it's weird because he's not moving a lot, right? He's not dancing or anything in this case. Uh, he dances in other cases, of course, but he's still he's still got a great stage presence. How can you combine these two factors? I, I just don't get it. He's so charismatic. Again, great stage presence without really doing anything. Just 
gotta look into the camera the right way and that that's it that's it the audience is shook i i guess you just gotta be v to to be able to do that i think that's the only way and the shot guys i'm pretty sure it's his uh, signature lip lick over here lip lick that sounds funny but yeah look at that facial expression jesus christ yeah man like if you look like that you you really don't got to do anything just do whatever be on the stage and do whatever and the audience is gonna like it are you calling me soon I know guys, I stopped right before the most interesting part, but before we continue, let's check out how he plays with dynamics, how he goes softer, then louder and more intense, and then back softer. <laughs> I keep getting amazed at how well he can control his voice and when he decides to go for those light higher notes he it, it, it really sounds like it comes to him very naturally even though he's got a lower voice type and usually lower voice types kind of struggle with that part of their voice a little bit. I know how much all of the BTS members work and I'm pretty sure he worked a lot to achieve this this level of vocal proficiency, but it doesn't mean that I can't get amazed by it. Well, the verdict is he can sing, he can sing, that's, I mean, that's obvious, and those high notes, guys, I'm pretty sure even Jimin would be like, oh, okay, I, I need to warm up to hit those, all right. Awesome, awesome job by V, I mean, like, if you have a lower voice type, why not use what you're naturally given like the the more powerful lower notes and then just train your higher part of your voice and and be good at everything v in my opinion did exactly that he sounded amazing i really enjoyed it guys and if you enjoyed this video just as much as i enjoyed this performance then you know what to do now you leave a like you subscribe and you click the bell i will see you all erinators in my next video as always keep listening to great music take care and love <laughs>